toys. Army men, soldiers created to bring joy to children. But what happens when they become something more? What happens when an innocent is wronged and justice is called for? A fantasy? Maybe in the eyes of some. Tonight, I invite you to cross the borders to what you know as reality. Here, on the one and only Killer Kitchen, you will find out what happens on the battleground. You are a bold and courageous person, afraid of nothing. And good evening. It's nice to see that you've decided to join us once again. Tonight's episode will be one very different from prior episodes that you've seen here tonight and any other night. It stars Mr. William Hurt. I'm sure most of you will probably recognize him best from his portrayal in Lost in Space from 1998. I know him best from broadcast news in 1980 and many of you would probably also know him as his character from Altered State in 1980. It's directed by Brian Hansen. Now Brian Hansen, most of you younger cats around maybe a couple years younger than me, probably know him best for his work in A Muppet Christmas, 1992, Muppets Treasure Island in 1996, but I know him best and more familiar with his work on The Labyrinth starring David Bowie, and that was in 1986. Tonight, after we allow you into the madness that is Killer Kitchen. Unlike other nights, there will be no more dialogue. I'm going to cook. I will put on screen right here for you to see what I'm doing and for you to get the measurements as far as directions, as far as what we're doing. This is one time you'll have to watch. And at the end of tonight's presentation, I would like to show you The Cauldron from 1903. Those of you familiar with Angry 80s Entertainment, we do have this up there by itself. You don't have to watch Killer Kitchen to enjoy it. But an interesting fact, this is the first of an eight episode series that happened in 2006 in 2006 called Nightmares and Dreamscapes the only dialogue in the entire film other than the loudspeaker at the beginning at the airport is grunts and groans there is no dialogue and I think I feel it only necessary to follow suit because Battleground originally was published, I 
believe it was Cavalier Magazine in 1972, but it was later, and this is where I know it from personally, from Stephen King's best and first collection of short stories in 1978. That is Night Shift. That collection actually gave us classics and some of the best stories you'll ever read, such as Strawberry Spring, The Boogeyman, and my favorite, my personal favorite, graveyard shift. So if you're interested in the dark, the creepy, and the obligatory, set aside the politics for five minutes and pick up that book. Just because Stephen King can't put his politics aside doesn't mean the rest of us can't grow up and enjoy art for being art while letting the idiots just prove to us that they're idiots. And without further ado, this is Killer Kitchen. Ah, but where are my manners? I am your host, Vincent Victorian, here to take you into the realm of the darkest culinary art and the deepest corners of the hottest ovens. Tonight, we'll be making roast beef sandwiches, and on the side, we're gonna be taking, ah, uh, so I didn't feel like doing it myself, so we're gonna take a roll of gar roll, uh, roasted garlic pr prego, white sauce, we're gonna color it, we're gonna doctor it, and we're going to create Soldier Slot. We will see you on our next break. For now, this is Battleground. Oh, you know what? One thing. In the story, the book opens, the job's already done, and he's on his way back flying. In tonight's premiere, they actually show you the job and give you insight to what Stephen King really did not intend. He opened it up, the job's done, the man's flying home to San Francisco. So here, you get an extra piece. The story itself maybe takes about a half an hour to read. It's not a long one, but definitely among the top five out of the entire collection. I'd put, I would rank it at number three personally, with Strawberry Spring being number one, and The Boogeyman being number two. So, keep a lookout for that, and also, keep a lookout, for those of you who have been watching Killer Kitchen for the last while, you'll remember we did an episode called Trilogy of Terror, with the Zuni fetish doll. Well, I believe that if you watch close enough, you may just find a subtle hint there that most people did not catch when this aired in 2006. Welcome to Killer Kitchen. They live. They die. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Quality pre-owned cars from A to X, it's the Automobile Exchange in Oxnard. The next minute is dedicated to those who march to the beat of a different drum. 
People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women seem wicked when you're unwanted. Streets are uneven when you're down. When you're strange, no one remembers your name. When you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. People are strange. When you're a stranger, faces look ugly. When you're alone. Monday through Thursday nights at 11. Tell me G meets the monster mellows in Count Chocula cereal. <laughs> I created something big. Big marshmallows. Huge marshmallows. So monstrously huge, they're monster mellows in Count Chocula cereal. The marshmallowy part of this complete breakfast. They're so huge, they're monster mellows. Enjoy. I will. Count Chocula and Monster Mellows, good in a big way. <laughs>
from the man who gave you 48 hours. Revolting, but so current. Need a little holiday feel? Shall I scare up the man who framed Roger Rabbit? The killer is here! You ask for it. You got it. Oh. Screaming for more? I have this little number from Superman's super mask. They sought to kill you. Doc, no! I wouldn't count on it. But you can count on my directors. Three Tales from the Crypt, June 10th on HBO. It's a night to dismember. <laughs> Warning, strong content. Parental discretion advised. There's someone out there. No one knows his name. No one knows his face. Oh, no. But now, the most terrifying man in the city carries a badge. My head was unstable and there was a deceleration injury. As in your old hanging. You really think a cop did this? Why not? Would you automatically assume that it was a police officer instead of some lunatic dressed up like a cop? Fight squad. You'll kill again. He enjoys killing. He strikes without cause, without mercy. He may be getting information from inside the department. That means he is one of us. You see a cop, you crossed to the other side of the street. You're not gonna get me. Everybody who wants to shoot a cop nowadays has got one hell of an excuse. This one is my personal life, any of your business. Since your wife was found dead in the motel room. You gotta be wrong. You wanna see the pretty picture? Ah! Keep the hands where I can see them. Hold on, I, I didn't do any of this. When a cop turns killer, you have the right to remain silent forever. Maniac Cop.
They have recruited the rich and the powerful. They're running the whole show. Wake up! They're all about you, all around you. Blind on us to the truth! Take a look. They are safe as long as they are not discovered. I don't know what they are or where they came from, but we gotta stop. Our owner! We have no other choice. I've got one that can see. Mama don't like tattletales. Friday at theaters everywhere. With quality pre-owned cars from A to X, it's the Automobile Exchange in Oxnard. The next minute is dedicated to those who march to the beat of a different drum. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women sing wicked when you're unwell. Streets are uneven when you're down, when you're strange. Faces come out of the rain when you're strange. No one remembers your name when you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. People are strange when you're a stranger. When you're alone, when you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, when you're strange. The Twilight Zone, Monday through Thursday nights at 11. Tommy G meets the monster mellows in Count Chocula cereal. Whoa! I created something big. Big marshmallows. Huge marshmallows, so monstrously huge, they're monster mellows in Count Jocula cereal. The marshmallowy part of this complete breakfast. They're so huge, they're monster mellows. Enjoy. I will! 
Count Chocula and Monster Mouse, good in a big way. <laughs>
Touchtone phone, call us on the Motley Crew hotline. 1 900 932 Crew. Yeah! You could win a personal autograph picture from us or a personal phone call to your home yeah! while supporting the Make a Difference Foundation. That's 1 900 932 Crew. Yeah! I know men. I know what a real man wants. I know your desires. I know your secrets. I know your innermost fantasies. I know you want to call me. Just do it. Call me now. And let me make you feel like a real man. Call toll free adults only. 976 Evil, a terrifying new movie from Robert Englund. Starts Friday, March 24th at a theater near you.
There's no escape for the living. Is it serious? Is dead serious? Oh, no! Just when you thought it was safe to be dead. Return of the Living Dead, Part 2. Rated R. Starts Friday, January 15th. They said it wasn't humanly possible. But now you can have all the power and excitement of Nintendo right in the palm of your hand. Introducing Game Boy. It's portable, it's in stereo, and its games are interchangeable. Plus, Game Boy comes with the outrageous new game, Tetris. And for head-to-head -head competition, use the revolutionary video link and blow your opponent away. Game Boy, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power, portable power. Are you afraid of ghosts? Do you get chills from scary thrills? Well, have no fear, because guess who's here? Somebody seen a ghost? Based on the hit movie, The Real.
a taste of our new album, Dr. Feel Good, before it's out in the stores? Yeah! Enter the crew contest. Yeah! If you have a touch-tone phone, call us on the Motley Crew hotline. 1-900-932-8-CREW. Yeah! You could win a personal autograph picture from us or a personal phone call to your home. Yeah! While supporting the Make a Difference Foundation. That's 1-900-932-8-CREW. Yeah! I know men. I know what a real man wants. I know your desires. I know your secrets. I know your innermost fantasies. I know you want to call me. Just do it. Call me now. And let me make you feel like a real man. Call toll-free adults only. Starts Friday, March 24th at a theater near you. I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. Now, what's more, I hope that you will enjoy the fruits of our labor. So allow me to illuminate the world around us. And please, follow me if you will, just this way, and I will show you how to prepare your sandwich. First, you gotta move your beer can out of your way because otherwise you might make a mess. Now, ourselves some wonder bread here wonder buns if you will already split ready to go so what we're gonna do
We're gonna take our tops. We're gonna take a little bit of meat. We're gonna right across the top. Now I cut these kind of thick. Technically you should shred them or cut them super thin. Um, you know, I, that's the one difference between me and the authentic Chicago style Italian beef. It'll taste the same, except instead of little strips and you feel like you got robbed, you got nice thick chunks. Something that's gonna grab your gullet. We're gonna grab one more piece of meat right across the top. And then we're gonna come down in here. I'm gonna dig out our hat, <laughs> our peppers. And I got a nice thick layer of peppers here. Finally. We're going to take a spoon. We're gonna ah, this spoon ain't gonna work for shit. Fuck that spoon. Fuck that. We're gonna grab a ladle. We're gonna dip that bitch in here. Fill it about halfway. We're gonna fucking douse it. Just drizzle. And don't worry about the mess, cause um. That's why God gave us napkins. So fuck the mess. Take a second, wipe it. And there you go. That is my version of the Chicago Italian beef. And although I may live in Norman Bates' hometown, You know what? Fairvale has been very good to me, but I'm never going to forget my roots. I did grow up in Chicago, and I do know how to make the Chicago-style beef. I just prefer my chunks of meat a little bit thicker. You know, when I bite into a girl's thigh, I want to know that it's a thigh. <laughs> And I suppose those of you still watching, even after that one, are wondering what happened with the pasta. Well, it didn't exactly work out the way we thought it would. And, uh,. I don't have an answer here. There you go. That's our meal for this evening. The authentic Chicago style beef and the authentic Chicago style guts. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's presentation of Killer Kitchen. And I do want to thank everybody for coming by and hanging out. You know, I suppose I should let you go. But you know, the there's just one thing. See, if I let you go, you gotta tell me that you're gonna be back next week. Otherwise, I'm just gonna fucking tie your ass up, keep you in the corner, and make you watch my life, which, trust me, that's better than any Friends episode ever was. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm joking. I'm not gonna hold nobody prisoner. Unless you miss next week. See, next week, we're starting Halloween week. October. 
Now you guys, anybody who knows anything about the Killer Kitchen, we live for October. And October's coming, and we have a lot of surprises and a lot of specialties waiting. I really hope to see you guys there. On the other hand, if you're not there, I may have to pay a visit to your house. <laughs> this is Big Killer Kitchen, and we will see you right here next week, same time, same place, but maybe not the same thing. They're running the whole show. Wake up! They're all about you, all around you. Blind to the, to the truth! Take a look. They are safe as long as they are not discovered. I don't know what they are or where they came from, but we gotta stop. Our owner! We have no other choice. I've got one that can see. Mama don't like tattletales. Friday at theaters everywhere. With quality pre-owned cars from A to X, it's the Automobile Exchange in Oxnard. The next minute is dedicated to those who march to the beat of a different drum. People are strange when you're a stranger. Faces look ugly when you're alone. Women sing wicked when you're unwell. Streets are uneven when you're down, when you're strained. Faces come out of the rain when you're strange. No one remembers your name when you're strange, when you're strange, when you're strange. People are strange when you're a stranger. When you're alone, when you're strange, faces come out of the rain. When you're strange, when you're strange. The Twilight Zone, Monday through Thursday nights at 11. Tommy G meets the monster mellows in Count Chocula cereal. Whoa! I've created something big. Big marshmallows. Huge marshmallows, so monstrously huge, they're monster mellows in Count Jocula cereal. The marshmallowy part of this complete breakfast. They're so huge, they're monster mellows. Enjoy. I will! Count Chocula and monster mellows, good in a big way. <laughs> Murder, madness, mayhem, and that's just the fun part. from the man who gave you 48 hours. Revolting, but so current. Need a little holiday feel? Shall I scare up the man who framed Roger Rabbit? The killer is here! You asked for it. You got it. Oh. Screaming for more? I have this little number from Superman's Supermaster. 
they sought to kill you. Doctor! I wouldn't count on it, but you can count on my directors. Three Tales from the Crypt, June 10th on HBO. It's a night to dismember. <laughs> Warning, strong content. Parental discretion advised. There's someone out there. No one knows his name. No one knows his face. Oh, no. But now, the most terrifying man in the city carries a badge. Edward, unstable and there was a deceleration injury. There's in your old hanging. You really think a cop did this? Why not? Would you automatically assume that it was a police officer instead of some lunatic dressed up like a cop? Fight squad. He'll kill again. He enjoys killing. He strikes without cause, without mercy. He may be getting information from inside the department. That means he is one of us. You see a cop, you crossed to the other side of the street. You're not gonna get me. Everybody wants to shoot a cop nowadays has got one hell of an excuse. This one is my personal life, any of your business. Since your wife was found dead in the motel room, you gotta be wrong. You wanna see the pretty picture? Ah! Keep the hands where I can see them. Hold on, I, I didn't do any of this. When a cop turns killer, you have the right to remain silent forever. Maniac Cop. Everybody, I just want to say thanks for watching. And I want to remind everybody that tonight, it is just a show. We're having fun. Yes, I like to live in the darkness. Yes, I may just be that vampire that you're so afraid of. And I may be that boogeyman under your bed. But deep down, I'm also just a big teddy bear who really just wants to fucking get hugged. <laughs> I'll let you decide what I mean by that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. This has been Killer Kitchen. And I'm sure that it's no secret by the look in my face that I'm pretty drunk. So I'm having some food. And we love you guys. And we will see you next week.